Hello guys, Crispy, welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm gonna be testing the GTX 750 Ti in Red Dead Redemption 2 with the Xbox One X settings. Now, I had to go into the config files in this one and change everything right there to the Xbox One X settings because otherwise, if I did that in the game, it wouldn't allow me to apply those settings because this GPU only has 2 gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, but anyways, I'm playing it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of frame uh, and of course you don't need these specs to not bottleneck the 750 Ti as I usually say. As you can see my friends we're now at 1080p resolution and I'm with a controller because it's way easier this way I don't even know why I didn't remember to do this earlier but anyways we're playing right now at 1080p and you can see right here the warning uh, that it gives you because we are of course outside of our VRAM limit we only have two gigabytes and with these settings we actually utilize 3.4 gigabytes of VRAM so I'm not sure it might stutter a little bit because of that but yeah these are the Xbox One X settings you can find the link down below in the description for Digital Foundry's video they have a very good video comparing the Xbox with the PC settings and you should definitely check that out and okay so I'm gonna start counting our FPS uh, it doesn't seem to be very good. I have no idea uh, about the controls in the, in the controller, guys. Okay. <laughs> Never played this game with a controller, but you can see that it's absolutely unplayable. Uh, okay, how do I run with the horse? X, maybe? No, okay, never mind, guys. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and play with the keyboard. But if you do have a controller, I definitely recommend you to use it, because we're not gonna get good FPS, as you can see right now. Like, it's absolutely unplayable at 1080p resolution. I'm not even sure if we can apply the uh, 900p and 720p inside of the game god damn it roach couldn't you jump there seriously did you really need to do this oh my gosh every single time ah oh my god wait a second okay okay oh boy, boy, boy. all right all right we're fine we're fine guys okay we, we are absolutely fine as you can see you can still appreciate the beautiful graphics and stuff roach please just turn around uh yeah you can still appreciate the perfect uh, beautiful graphics perfect well you can say that they are perfect almost like if they improve the textures a little bit it will be a little bit better as well but the game looks very very beautiful so uh if you want to immerse yourself in this game you can do so because the graphics are very good but you can't do so with the GTX 750 Ti because it's below 20 FPS obviously so I'm just gonna stop it there you know and try to lower the resolution inside of the game all right yeah it doesn't work if I press the enter button it doesn't do anything because it doesn't allow us to apply those settings and come on rockstar like at least give us like a warning or something in the screen like a pop-up message or something saying that yeah you're out of vram you can't read it the experience it's not gonna be very good at least give us that you know don't block us from playing the game you know that's very very annoying to me uh i think it's right there settings and System.xml and now you just scroll all the way down here you can see it there GTX 750 Ti and there is the resolution so I'm gonna set it at 1600 by 900 all right guys so a little bit of a different setting right now because it's kind of foggy but it doesn't really affect your FPS too much we are right now at 1600 by 900 of course still with the same settings okay Xbox one X settings the that console actually runs this game at native 4K resolution, so of course it's gonna be a lot more beautiful than 900p or 720p. And you know what, guys? Here at 900p, it does feel a lot smoother than 1080p. I'm not gonna lie, okay? I could actually play like this if I really wanted to. Now, I'd probably, like, lower the shadows and stuff like that, because it is possible to get around, like, 30 plus FPS at at least 720p 
see but here at 900p if you lower the shadows you should be gaining like two or three more fps and it will feel a lot smoother because every single fps actually counts whenever you are talking about like 20 to 25 fps it will matter and you will feel the difference so this is 900p i would say that this is not good you know it's not a good experience but let me just try it with the the controller actually okay let's go please connect okay here we go we are now connected with the controller and uh please no i god damn it i really want to like run you know no not like this okay it's not like this as well no god damn it okay okay i got this i got this i just needed to double tap a i think in the xbox controller and now i, I have to okay good 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 we're fine so does it feel any smoother can we actually run faster roach please oh yeah thank you let's go how do you guys control this with the controller like i i am actually using my index finger to move around the camera like this and my thumb to uh, press a on the the keypad or whatever yeah i'm not very good at, with controllers guys as you can probably notice here uh okay anyways we actually killed something there maybe i i, I can't even look back <laughs> Uh, I think it's it's not too bad, you know. Um, yeah, you could get away like this if you really, really wanted. But of course, it's not the best experience. For example, I remember playing GTA San Andreas in the PS2 and that was capped at 25 FPS as well. So it's, this is not too bad. It's not the worst experience that I've had here with Red Dead Redemption 2. Of course, if you've seen like the GT710 videos and stuff like that, it's far from it. But it's not the best. It does look good though, I'll give you that. You know what's interesting though, guys? There's no stuttering whatsoever with the 750Ti and these settings. At least I didn't feel any stuttering yet. So that means that if they didn't lock you from changing the texture settings and stuff like that, it could actually run fine. 1280 by 720 right there. I just saved it. And let's test the final resolution in the game right now. In the video, actually, not the game. And, uh... It is not looking good guys well maybe it is well kind of not actually because everything at 720p looks really really soft and i definitely don't like these graphics right now guys but we are getting close to that 30 fps mark you know if you have an overclocked version of the 750 ti by the way i did overclock this one but this is a stock version so it puts it on par with those overclocked versions from factory you could push yours further if it's like a strix version or an msi version stuff like that you know mine is just a stock version so yeah it kind of sucks a little bit where is roach by the way please come over here roach i need you right now let's start counting the fps as well roach i'm calling you okay thank you all right so this feels a lot smoother although it still drops into the mid 20s yeah even an overclocked version of this card would probably still drop from 30 fps obviously but this is not as bad as the other resolutions obviously you know i'm just gonna switch to the controller right now and see okay yeah it's not too bad i was really expecting it to perform worse than this like coming into this and editing the config files and stuff like that i was expecting it to really perform badly and stutter all over the place because well rockstar doesn't really allow you to change the settings to these with two gigabyte cards but i'm just very surprised that it's working fine with no stuttering whatsoever i would like to run faster please roach okay that's how you do it you just need to mash a on the controller maybe keep on mashing it yeah probably okay so as you can see by the way whenever you're not inside of a big forest with lots of vegetation and stuff like that you can get 30 fps and if i ran around the map exploring all of the different places the average would probably be around 30 as you are seeing it right now but of course whenever you get inside of a forest like this one it will drop a lot into the mid 20s it's, it's 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 not too bad 
I would play at low settings instead to achieve 30 plus FPS all of the time because it's actually possible to do it. I already tested the GTX 750 Ti here in Red Dead Redemption 2 at 1080p, 900p and 720p with the low settings and although of course the game didn't look as good as it's looking right now but it was playable at 30 plus FPS and even at 1080p it was kind of playable if I'm remembering correctly. Maybe just don't play with the Xbox One X settings if you have the 750Ti and uh, just customize them yourself, see what looks better for you. Hardware Unboxed has a very detailed guide on what each setting does here in this game, so go watch that, uh, find out what works best for you and after a little bit of research you should find your uh, perfect uh, settings for like 30 fps at whatever resolution you play at in this game with 750ti so i will definitely recommend you to do that but anyways guys that's been it for this video i guess thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to give it a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't already and i will hopefully see you in the next one as always guys i love you all Bye bye